This is why there should be more women in the workforce. Um, please don't take this the wrong way. But I want to have sex with you. How's it going? Horrible, I want you back! Thank God I want you back! In fact, marry me! Oh, oh yes, Stephen! Do you, Jackie? I do! Me too! Woohoo! You married! Jackie, I said, how's it going? Fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Please quit giggling. Sorry, man. I'm listening to George Carlin's Seven Dirty Words You Can't Say on Radio and Television. <laughs> man, he just keeps saying them over and over again. <laughs> Potty mouth. You know, you're being more of a tool than usual. Have you talked to Jackie? No, Angie. What do I have to say to Jackie? That you love her and miss her. I don't love people. <laughs> I love Camaros, Zeppelin, and French fries in that order. <laughs> Guys, I just had this brilliant idea. You know how every dirty word has a number? Instead of cursing, you could just say that number. Like, I could say, hide. Go three yourself. <laughs> hey, Angie, when Tom Jones gets here, you're not going to throw your underpants at him, are you? Michael, you know I don't wear underwear. <laughs> Come on, man, you're my sister. I just told her to say that to gross you out. Burn! Yeah, you got me. Besides, I happen to know that she does wear underwear. Sometimes she lets me take them off for boomerang burn! Wait, you're firing me because I won't strip? No, no, you know what? I'm a gentleman, and I normally don't use this kind of language. But Mr. Randall, you are one sixing, sevening monkey fiver. Think your one don't stink? Well, three off you. Three and three. Come on. Oh, hell, I don't need Tom Jones. I'll sign the damn album myself. Excuse me. Who pinched my behind? <laughs> Bonnie, your husband hasn't even been dead two months. <laughs> Miss Kitty, I signed Tom Jones' album. Oh, oh. Oh, thank you. Oh, I hope he wasn't upset I couldn't be there myself. Did you tell him I had the flu? Didn't come up. Anyway, um, Mr. Randall felt bad for me, so he hired me back as an intern, and he wants you to play this after the commercial. Check six. You know, Donna, you and I are a lot alike. Well, except I'm on the radio and you're not. <laughs> Eric, thank you so much. That was a great idea. You're welcome. Now let's go home and five all night. So, Stephen, how was Tom Jones? Who knows? He never even wanted to leave. <laughs> you know, Tom loves his fans. I was just telling Kitty how I had to chase down his limo to get her an autograph. <laughs> Mrs. Foreman, it was fantastic. <laughs> you should have seen Red running after Tom's limo, screaming like a little girl. Right. Tom! Tom! <laughs> That's enough bragging. <laughs> Well, and that is why I am making this meatball hero for my meaty hero of a husband. Hi, you ready? You were smart not to stick around. I waited five hours, Tom Jones never showed up. <laughs> never showed up? If Tom Jones never showed up, who signed this autograph? <laughs> I can't lie to you. It was Julio Iglesias. 
This is why there should be more women in the workforce. Um, please don't take this the wrong way. But I want to have sex with you. How's it going? Horrible, I want you back! Thank God, I want you back! In fact, marry me! Oh, oh yes, Stephen! Do you, Jackie? I do! Me too! Woohoo! You marry! <laughs> Jackie, I said, how's it going? Fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Would you please quit giggling? Sorry, man. I'm listening to George Carlin's seven dirty words you can't say on radio and television. <laughs> man, you just keep saying them over and over again. <laughs> Potty mouth. You know, you're being more of a tool than usual. Have you talked to Jackie? No, Angie. What do I have to say to Jackie? That you love her and miss her. 